this time on Custom Works, we ask the question, what was I doing on them wings? Let's get to the work job! Okay then, so this time on Custom Works, we're gonna be looking at the wings on Dualitron. Like I think back and think, what was I thinking? Why were they not quite mad enough? So let's see how that uh, sort of pans out. We're just gonna have a little recap from last time about the wings. So let's get to the, I know it actually, you know, you know this whole let's get to the workshop thing. This didn't happen in the workshop. Loads of stuff doesn't happen in the workshop, does it? This didn't happen in the workshop. So let's get to, so my back garden. Let's do it! So another bit on Dualitron that I never really liked, and uh, don't get me wrong, I do love this car. You know, I think it's amazing, but just over the years, I've, I've, I've learned more stuff and thought, if only I'd done that. One bit I never liked was this rear corner. Now, to me, it looks like it's a box with bits cut out to make the shape. And I never thought the wing was quite wide enough. The wing needs to be like the widest point. So that needs to be probably as wide as the bumper. I didn't like that. And there's another problem. So the wing comes down and then drops in at a steep angle there. And I've been looking at this thinking, why didn't I bring it through and then down to the front of the door? Now this is a lot straighter, smoother line. And this is a perfect time to do this because there's a lot of cracking in the door. There's a lot of work to do just in this piece. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend the wing by about three inches all the way along and then taper it into just there. I've no idea why I did this. Uh, uh, what? I'm gonna get this, which is a piece of copper pipe, and I'm gonna run it off of there and onto there. So first, I'm gonna make some three inch packers to put along that wing, and then I'm gonna get this fixed into place, then we'll get some foam on it and stuff, and then later on, we can glass it in. inch uh, wide packing strips are just going to hold them wings off nice and again it's in marine part ply this is encased in fiberglass it will sit there forever like some of the plywood on that car from 15 years ago still sits encased in that fiberglass it's the way they make boats so it's good enough for me okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to stick this plywood onto the edge of this wing and that will give me my perfect spacing off of this Probably not that perfect wing, but hey, you know, I did this bit, I've done that bit, you know what I mean? All works out. I'm thinking that's where I'm going to want it to end being straight and go into the curve. Right. I need that to be glued onto there. And this is sort of rolled up slightly from centre on this piece of ply. And then it's going to go into there. And for this, I'm going to need the master of gluing, the helping hand that helps to make all the cars good. Miss Kirsty Winterton to help me out. So the camera's gonna have to go down for a minute. That's what I'm saying in a very roundabout way. See in a sec. Okay then, so just working on keeping the bend of the material as relaxed as I can. I can see here it's sitting too low. That's no problem because I'm gonna attach it here and then I'll just push this up a bit, the piece of timber under there, and then I'll fix it a bit further. 
But for here, I've got this and it's super springy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just screw it to this. Now, the copper is really soft, so I can just screw through that. Right, so that's holding there. That's all it really has to do for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little bit stronger and then foam in. And then in a bit, we can come back and see how this is going to be a real strong <laughs> and permanent part of the car. We've got a lot of foam in all along here. This is set in and oh my God, yes, not to go on about the weather a lot, but oh my God, it's so hot. Everything dries so fast. I can work so much quicker. Why haven't I always got this? Ian Russell, I am jealous. And um, we just need to sand that back and then glass over it. But how did I get to this point? Let's have a look at the other side. So on this side, I put the wood in, I saw super glued on and all along here. And then the bit where it starts to taper, I don't want to cut pieces of wood and stuff to go in there. So I've just put some um, silver tape stuck from the underside and then some cardboard all the way down to here. And like I've said before, so this comes nice and straight off that off the ply. And then the curve just comes in. I'm not stressing the material. It will just hold a lovely form. I've measured from here to here, both sides. So both sides will be, you know what I mean, about right. You can never see both sides at the same time. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like you to get both sides the same. How, how, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever noticed. Doesn't matter. They will um, now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next thing to do here is to fill this whole thing with foam and just hair. I think this is what got me before. I didn't do the foam thing when I built this. And this bit just here, you look at this line to this line. Basically everything's got to go good between there and there. And it is just all over the place. But you know, once the foam's in and you sand the foam, the foam sort of shows you how it's going to go. So yes, this is super complicated, but the foam will guide the way. This is the way. <laughs> Anyway, let's get some foam on <laughs> and get it drying. <laughs> okay, so I think this is this is an average tip time. So when you're using the uh, expanding foam gun, the best way to clean this out, and if you get foam everywhere, bit of thinners in a squirty bottle, make sure you've not got this as your, uh, you know, putting out fires bottle as well full of water. Looks very similar. But if you spray it on the foam, the foam just disappears. So you can clean your gun up. This bit's dry, it won't get that off. But you can clean your gun up really easy with a bit of thinners in a squirty bottle. So then, a while ago, a while, couple of weeks, I put all of this foam on here and it sat in the sun and that's why it's gone all like dry, like it's a what's it. Or for American viewers, Cheeto. And it's, it's really good now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sand all of this into shape and then glass over it. And then we'll have the new extended, bigger and better wings on Dualitron. Let's get to the sander.
I've got to cut quite a big chunk out of the car and it's this section that is the rear of the door probably to about there and then about here because what we've got is like this bit kicks up it kicks up to like a lump of steering I've took it down on that side I'm going to take it down on this side it just it's just too needs to be more and it's you know what I mean so I'm going to hack this bit out here and uh, we'll get that bit lowered because there is no way I can sand that down. looking pretty good there's a lot of um you know just junk in it bondo old wood just a framework of how the car was made but notice i cut that big chunk of bondo out it's just literally as good as the day it went in it's only that i've hacked it out that there's any sort of problem it's sat in there for all this time and been fine so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to sand this down see if i can get this to this level and then i'll fill this piece Um, the high bit, well, it has totally gone now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this with foam, and then um, once that's dry, I'll carve this in as well. And we'll have that level line all the way through there. And just to show the difference between expanding foam, so here's some expanding foam. This has been in there for just over 15 years. And it's literally like the day it was on there. So it's under the panel, this has been there. Next to it though, this piece of steel. Now the steel really hasn't done as good. I'd sort of mock these out in a thin steel frame and you can see um, this was painted as well. You can see just how bad the steel has fared in there. Definitely does not look like the same piece of bright drawn bar I fitted 15 years ago. Looks like something off of the Tudor flagship, the Mary Rose. If that was it, was that an important boat? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, just to show, that has absolutely um, destroyed the steel, but the foam stays good. Right, and so, massive hole, fill it with foam. Again, I'll leave this to dry. We'll sculpt that in. Let's do some foaming. <laughs> has now been filled and the filler is now dry here it is filler I say filler this is just foam filler foam foam filler now a lot of the time I go on about that plasterboard adhesive stuff this is what you this is what happens when you use the non plasterboard adhesive this has been cooking for a couple of days cooking drying whatever you want it has this beautiful golden tan if we look inside though it's still that same colour. This is just when um, UV light gets on it, it sends it yellow. And it sends it all powdery after a while as well. But anyway, we're covering it all up with fiberglass. So what we've got to do, we've got to cut this off, because at the minute it's looking like the elephant man's left nut. And this has got to go. So 
with the saw, I will cut it off to the perfect shape in one go. <laughs> it's funny because someone said the 60s truck looked like the elephant man. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it's, 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 ugliness is a popular theme at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Each to his own. Wouldn't be a hot rod if everyone loved it. Right. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. There it is. Now I've just got to run the sander over that. Let's do some sanding. Sanded, it's all in, it's correct shape. Time for fiberglass. Not as impressive as I thought it was going to be, but anyway. There's fiberglass, took the hunch out, it's done. Just gotta wait for this to dry now. And it is so hot, that was drying as I was doing it. Wow, if any of you work, live in a hot place and you're doing fiberglass, you, you, you've gotta work fast. Like in for me, that was, that was probably too fast to get that on. Um, so it was all liquid as it went on. But three layers, all done, rock solid. Now, let's have a look at one I prepared earlier. Okay, so on the other side, Oh, looking really good. This is all solid. Um, if we <coughs> can open this door, um, bits falling off it. But look, even the door looks cooler like this. You know, you can see where the foam's holding the filler there. That's gripping the bar. All this is going to be like under matted, just so that's all nice. But the rest of the car, this bit just looks so much better with that extra added bit. I put a bit of filler in it. I had some filler left over from another job, so I dropped it in there. But this really is starting to shape up to be, you know, an awesome look. And we can just see from the back as well, just how much better that looks. In fact, it used to stop there. You know, what was I? Not being daring enough? Not being daring enough? Me? Not daring enough? I'm daring now. And that's why the wings are a little bit wider. That has come out really good. And don't forget, all of this is just to get this back so it doesn't crack ever again. We don't get those lines in, it doesn't flood with water, all of those things, just so this is a lot more solid. So if someone wants to sit on it and eat their lunch, they're more than welcome. This is fiberglass, doesn't dent, doesn't whoop, doesn't do any of that. And it does in a way feel like I've got an old car that I built back and I'm now wrapping it up with a car I would build now. It really is how it is. I'm like, I'm reshelling the egg, if you will. And now it's ready for Bondo. And my God, this is gonna be a Bondo aroma, but that will be on another episode of Custom Works. Not for today, it's too hot for that. <laughs> So you might be thinking, what on earth has happened to the 60s truck? What's everyone messing about with Duolatron all the time? Well, I've been messing about with Duolatron, but Hot Rod Legend Lee Cox, the Messiah of Wire, 
he has been working on the 60s job and he's been doing all the cool wiring that makes all the cool things work. So now we have this and we can now actually lift the 60s job. It's probably a little bit a lot higher than ride height. I think you could ride this like an inch off the drive this an inch off the road. But also it goes down as well. So if I hit the switch, and I can make that up. And at the front as well. And there we go. And just to have a look at just how much work goes into this. Lee's been sitting in the passenger side of this truck for days on end. And we have in there, look, that, that, this is stuff I, don't, I wouldn't even touch. So we've got Lee's notebook, lots of relays, switches, remote control stuff, all of that kind of thing. We've got a lot going on in there. But a lot of wiring makes a lot of things work. And this is how this goes. Yeah, we've still got to permanently pipe this car. That's not quite done yet. We've just got to change some of the fittings for those stronger sort of like um, compression fittings. But it really is coming on. And this, you know, just being able to get the car to do that is, well, that's a work of genius. <laughs> but there we go. The car moves up and down now. Next stage with this is probably get it out there, get it on the ramp, get it up in the air. We've got some welding underneath for them big skid plates that it's got. But also we've got a man, a huge air tank on this thing because we don't want it to be no slow down. So we don't want to be waiting on the compressors all the time on it just to work. So that's probably the next step. And you'll see all of that here on Custom Works. So that is another week of Custom Madness. I'll be back next week with another week of custom madness that's going to happen after this takes place something like that anyway don't forget click subscribe bell icon all of that kind of stuff i'll be back in seven days time with another episode of custom works i thank you very much and good night